Hey, we'll get with Legacy FC. I'm here with Evan, the Titan Thompson. He's back in action. He's been uh, down for a little bit, but we're going to get into that. So it's good to see you. Yeah, man, I appreciate uh, it. You were like my first interview, so I'm really pumped to see you again. Um, so you're going to be fighting Andrew Todd Hunter. This is Legacy 54 this Friday. So uh, definitely tune in to AXS TV or get down to Tulsa. It's at the Hard Rock uh, Hotel and Casino. Uh, talk a little bit about Andrew. Um, the last uh, the last year, uh, he's had a couple Legacy 41, Legacy 45. He was supposed to fight, but kind of fell through. And then the, he was going to fight for the UFC, mm -hmm. uh, but some, some medical issues, he wasn't able to fight. Uh, so, but this is a, is a big opportunity. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, with Andrew, he's he's a pretty big name, undefeated fighter. Yeah. So, talk a little bit about Andrew and, and what you see coming into this fight. Yeah, man, uh, he's a, he's a good fighter. You know, he's seven and zero as a pro, and uh, you know what I see in Andrew, he's a he's a very strong guy. He's a wrestler. He loves to take it down or pin it up against the cage, take it down, try to ground and pound or or get you in a in a submission. A rear naked choke tends to be his his submission of choice uh, whenever it gets down to the ground. But, um, you know, a lot of his fights have, haven't made it out of the first round. So there's, it's kind of hard to see how he reacts whenever it hits second or third round. So, um, but I already know, man, he, he's, he's probably going to get out there, try to swing with me a little bit. He's going to realize that's a mistake. And then he's probably going to try to put me up against the cage and take me down. And it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Yeah, not going to happen. Good stuff. And um, you kind of, like, you've been – you know, on like a hiatus for about a year, kind of let us know, um, you know, what's been going on. Yeah, in, yeah, in definitely. World. So, um, you know, my, my last fight was actually February of uh, 2015. I fought a tough guy named Charles Bird. Uh, he came out on top with that one. With that fight, uh, I was supposed to fight later in the year, but uh, in training, I fractured my elbow, so I had to pull out of that fight. Um, I was supposed to fight again last November, um, and my opponent had to pull out. He pulled out like a week. Uh, before the fight happened, so um, I wasn't able to fight then. So I've only fought once in the past year, but um, you know that I mean I've been training. I've been training for fights. I've been training with my brother Steven. I've been here training hard. I got good training partners here, good training partners in South Carolina. So it's not like I haven't been doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to have at least three fights last year, but the last two in the later year, you know, fractured elbow, yeah, opponent pulled out. So mm -hmm. I've always been training for something. Yeah. So, um, and now I'm just glad to, to step back in the cage next Friday for Legacy 54. I uh, appreciate them hooking me up with that, and I'm ready to get in there and rock and roll, man. And then you're sp speaking about your brother, Steven Wonderboy. I think, you know, uh, just about everybody knows, you know, big fight coming up. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say that people were surprised. Um, I, with, with, when he was fighting Big Rig, I thought, uh, with Big Rig having a lot of power, um, I, I was – just kind of taken back and how yeah. easily he kind of dismantled him. Yeah. So, you know, as far as, you know, being able to train with your brother, you know, what are the things do you, you, you kind of take from him? Obviously he's in the big stage and, you know, that's where yeah. you're looking to go. So like what, you know, what, what advantages does that have? You know, I mean, it has a lot of advantages. Uh, Steven, he's making waves in the UFC. He's number two mm -hmm. now, about to fight Roy McDonald. Um, you know, Steven, he's been able to train with Chris Weidman for the past few years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whenever he uh, went to go fight Big Rig, man, we really weren't afraid of his wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, or Steven wasn't. Steven you know, wasn't. Steven yeah. wasn't yeah. afraid of his wrestling. <laughs> uh, you know, Johnny Hendricks, he's, he's an amazing fighter. He's a very strong wrestler. Um, but Steven's been training with Chris, so that really um, helps Steven out a lot in that area. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and Steven, he's so unorthodox. He, he, a lot of people, they think they have him figured out. Man, nobody has his style figured out. You know, his style, I'm not, I don't even have his style. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he's just, he's just, a, he's, yeah, man, he's yeah, the wonder boy. I mean, definitely. you just you wonder what he's going to do. Yeah, what's yeah. his, what's his power, you know? He, he can use his hands. He yeah. can use his legs. He and seems his, to just dominate people completely. And then obviously yeah, with the his, big rig, I, you know, I, it just wasn't a shock. It just like when you watched it, I, I didn't really know what to say. I know. Like, I was I know. just kind of, like, a lot of people. He was impressed, obviously, and yeah. there was congrats yeah. on him. But uh, I, don't, I don't think that, it, you know, before the fight, anybody would say, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. You're just going to completely destroy him yeah. and then just make him, you know, well, stop. A lot of people were posting stuff. Oh, Big Ray's just going to take him down and lay on him. You know, a lot of people didn't think that Steven's takedown defense was going to be what it was. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it is. Steven's yeah. takedown defense is. You know, um, it, it's it's improved a lot from working with Chris. Um, it's improved. I mean, his jiu-jitsu has improved. Uh, uh, working with Carlos, working with uh, Ryan Hall. I mean, he's just got the whole package. He's, Steven's got a great wrestling coach in, in South Carolina as well, Coach Tom. And um, I mean, he's 
he's filling in that gap. Steve and I, we came from karate, started fighting kickboxing whenever we were teenagers, um, and then we made the jump into MMA um, late in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I was I was uh, towards the end of my twenties. He he's older than I am, so yeah. he was even later. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so he's made leaps and bounds on improving that area, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. And so you know, I, I'm I'm glad uh, I can say proud to like I train RCJ Machado also and Allen. So talk. This is a new facility. Uh, Beautiful facility. Uh, the last time we saw where we, we saw each other, uh, you were in a different location. So talk. Yeah. This is here in the colony for mm -hmm. all you people that uh, want some jujitsu training. You know, this is definitely a place to come. RCJ is the place. The colony. Exactly. Um, it's really. It's uh, you can't see it here, but it's, it's a really uh, big spot. You know, to come train. But mm -hmm. talk a little bit about so your move here. Yeah, man. So we uh, we were right down the sidewalk. We had a, uh, a smaller location, but uh, we've been blessed in this area. A lot of great people in the colony. And uh, we outgrew that location. Mm -hmm. um, so we had to get a bigger spot, which we moved right down the sidewalk into here. We're at about, right now, we're at about 5,500 square feet. Um, you know, and, and we're, man, we're about to outgrow this location. Yeah, that's exactly so, yeah, what Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at other spots, you know. Um, hopefully, within the next year or so, you know, there's a 12,000 square foot spot right over there. Maybe we'll take over that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, we, we got kids programs. We've got adult programs. We've got kickboxing programs we got MMA programs we've got it all and you know we uh, one thing that we try to emphasize to everybody we're not a fight club mm -hmm. you know we're a family martial arts center Definitely. so whenever you come here you're training whether you're doing MMA or you're 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 a child in the kids program we're all gonna be safe yeah definitely. You know, we're all gonna be safe we train smart uh, and we just want people to come in here with goals, and we want to help them re uh, achieve those goals. The RCJ way. Yeah, there you the go. RCJ That's right. Way. Leave your ego at the door. Come in here and train. Definitely, definitely. Evan the Titan Thompson. Definitely watch him this Friday, AXS TV. Uh, or if you're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, this is at the Hard Rock Casino. Uh, yep, this Friday, Evan the Titan Thompson. Boom.